Hey guys, Mr. Abby from the Academy of Science and Citizenship with my lovely science assistant, Miss Hunter. Do you have anything you want to share with my class before we start? What does she got? Oh, hard to see in there. But what is that, Hunter? Her tooth. She lost a tooth. There you go. Wow. It's already growing in, too. Look at you. Well, since we're talking a lot with the whole coronavirus, we're talking a lot about staying healthy and staying clean. So I wanted to go over with you guys, why do we use soap when we wash our hands? A lot of times you rinse off your hands. That feels good enough, right? Well, a lot of times water by itself isn't going to clean off a lot of the nasty bacteria and oils that can help protect those viruses on your hands. So they like to cluster up and they, they form colonies. So they, they group up and they hold themselves together. So when you wash them off, you can only wash off that top layer. So we're going to go over why we want to use soap, right? So we're going to go over a quick experiment with you guys. If you were in my class, you've probably already done this experiment with me. But for everybody that missed out, we're going to get together. Excuse me. Some simple materials for this experiment. All you need is, this is not a bowl of water. Does it have to be as big as my big bowl of uh, science? Not necessarily. I just really like this, this bowl for you doing science experiments. You're going to want your notebook already. and a pencil, pen, marker, crayon. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to share my notes with you guys Friday, but make sure you take good notes. I'm going to go over what I kind of want you guys to do with those notes in a moment. You're going to need some pepper. Um, if you were in my class, you would also know that glitter works just fine. Salt. Um, cinnamon. Salt's going to be hard to see, but that's a good idea. And you're going to need some soap. I like dish soap for this experiment, but a lot of hand soaps work. Uh, most different kinds of soap are going to work. Does it have to be antibacterial like mine is? Absolutely not. The important thing is that it is soap. So soap has a lot of really cool properties when it comes to washing your hands. When you just rinse your hands off with water, a lot of times you're going to still have just a little bit less, but you're still going to have whatever it was on your hands. Like if you've been eating chicken or you got like lots of sugar on your hands from eating donuts or something like that, you notice you can rinse your hands off. But there's still like a sticky sometimes, still a little bit of oily. What your soap is going to do is it's going to break all those molecules that whatever it's uh, your bacteria or your grease and stuff like that is going to use to hold itself together. That's what the soap is good for. Also, you can use confetti for it. Sure, maybe but confetti bet, might work. I, I haven't small. tested this, so don't take that as gospel. It better be small. Though. Maybe. So what you're going to do with your pepper, I don't know if I mentioned it, pepper is going to be your last ingredient. So what we're going to do is we're going to pepper our water. Look at all that pepper on there. It might be a little hard to see, so I'm going to put lots of extra pepper on there. Oh, she's going to get sneezing here in a second. Mom, you zip a fan in here, please? You're going to pepper up that water. You can see that kind of grayish stuff on the top of the water. Yeah, but it's so what you're going to do? Bad. So what you're going to do is you're going to first off, could Hunter, could you stick one finger in my pepper? Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh now no. show that finger to the camera. No. Oh my goodness. I'm going to wash it off. Yeah, we're going to have to wash that off. But first, it looks like rocks. I want you to take another finger, even on the same hand would work, or your other hand would work just fine. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little soap to the situation. We're going to see what that does to our pepper. This is, Now, this is why you want to use that soap. If you want, we can even put it on the same finger. Uh, a little yeah. bit of soap. Yeah, oh, look what happened to that pepper. Go ahead and touch the pepper side. It's so sticky. It's not sticking. And did we see what happened when the pepper, when the soap hit the pepper? All the pepper just wants to run away. Now it smells actually pretty so good where, now. So where the soap hit, you can see all that pepper ran away. I'm going to. So not only it knocked all the pepper to the bottom too. So not only does that soap keep the stuff from sticking to your hands still. But it's going to make all the things that were holding it all together on the top of the water, it's going to break all that up. 
and it's going to scare all those germs or if it's pepper in this case or glitter, it's going to get all that out of the way. Notice all of it kind of sank to the bottom and now you can rinse your hand off in the water, get the rest of that soap off and that's going to help you get really clean. So when we do our notes on this, what I'm going to want you guys to do is I'm going to want you guys to show me how did that water look before we added the soap. Let's see if it, it works again. It's still a lot more. So we, we had lots of stuff clumping on the top. See, I got a little, oops, I got a little clumpy right there of that pepper. You're going to show me what the, the what it looked like with all the pepper on top. Maybe little dots and stuff like that. But when we added that soap, it gets rid of that whole little lump. It smells really good. And it knocks that pepper out of there. And it smells better, Hunter says. So that's another thing that the soap's going to do for you. All those things that are causing those bad smells, soap is going to break it right down. So you're going you're gonna to give me a picture probably of what did the water look like when it had all the pepper on top of it. And then you're going to show what happened in the next uh, square or however you're going to organize your notes. You're going to show what happened to that pepper. So in our case, since we stuck our finger right in and a little bit of soap dripped in there, all of our pepper kind of ran to one side. But sometimes if you have it all in the center, it might run all the sides and just kind of whoosh, spread away. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some notes. What that pepper look like or what that pepper water look like before we started with the soap? What is, your, what is your pepper water going to look like after we added the soap? This is going to be a really simple experiment to take notes on. You're going to take your notes. I would like you guys to send, me to send them to me on Dojo, probably by Friday. And by Friday, I'm going to send you guys a copy of my notes on what everything ended up looking like. So by Friday, we're all going to compare our notes like good scientists. One scientist doing an experiment doesn't teach the whole world on how something works. It teaches you a little bit of something, but when we compare our notes, that's when we know that what we're doing is good science. We know we did a good job. We know we all did the same experiment. We got the same results. So we can probably rely on what we did was definitely the truth. We knew what we did works for everybody when they all do the same experiment. Again, really simple ingredients. So if you guys want to follow along and do these experiments on your own, all you need is some water doesn't have to be as big as uh, your bowl doesn't have to be as big as mine some kind of powder. you're gonna need some pepper probably some kind of powder I really recommend pepper because it's got oils in it that's really gonna show you what's going on with the the soap happening Why do you recommend and again maybe some dish soap dish soap any kind of soap will work but if you're gonna use bar soap make sure you lather it up on that hand or that finger before you stick it in so that it's nice and watery you want the soap to really interact with the water and the pepper okay so again send me your notes on dojo hopefully all your teachers have added me on there but we'll work it out as things go nice simple experiment for you guys to start with if you've already done it with me you might have a hypothesis or a good educated guess on what you thought was going to happen but run it yourselves see what happens and i look forward to seeing all of your notes you guys have a great day how much